Okay, so I want to do a little video between uh, energy density and power density. So what you got here are eight 90D cells from a Tesla 90D, and this is a uh, single 3.7 volt, 25 amp hour cell, and you can see the size difference between the uh, equal capacity. So what I have here is these are about 25 amp hours, these Tesla cells. This one over here is an extra one just to show you the difference in width. So you can see it's about three quarter the width of the, uh, the 25 amp hour cell. And if you look at the weights, they're about half the weight. This cell weighs 713 grams, whereas eight Tesla cells weigh 378 so a little bit more than half but the thing is is that this one cell can dump 700 amps whereas these eight cells combined at 20 amps a cell that's about what Tesla uh, max draw is at 20 amps a cell times 8 is 160 so if you're looking for power and you don't care about range you want these cells. If you're looking for range and you can deal with lower power, you can run these. And that's why Tesla went with these cells because they are much more energy dense and you can get more miles per charge. Because I don't think anybody's going to spend $100,000 on a car that doesn't get 300 miles to a charge. Uh, I know they have the 70Ds and uh, the 60Ds that don't get that and they're still expensive. Uh, but just as a go by, I when their first offering came out with the 85s which would again be about eight of these cells to one of these they chose the most energy dense cell because they wanted to get the most miles and they allow them to you know over drain them at 20 amps a cell for a short period of time uh, most of these cells are only good for about 1c continuous uh, whereas this one's good for I think 10c continuous and that's Yes, you can pull 6C out of the Tesla cell for a shorter period of time, but uh, if you watch any videos where people drive the Teslas hard, you'll see that the batteries go into uh, over, uh, uh, over temp mode and the reduced power. All right, thanks.